Hi friends, this is Mega from Asian College of Journalism. You're watching ACJ Newsline and today we are going to discuss about the Neutrino project in Taini. So yesterday, uh, this India-based uh, Neutrino Observatory that is going to be set up in Taini got its clearance from the Ministry of Environment and Forests and Climate Change. And uh, this uh, clearance uh, has been uh, burdened with around 40 uh, terms and conditions that the ministry has stipulated that uh, be followed uh, when they are going to set this uh, center up. So before we go into the nitty gritties of whether it's a boon or a bane to the people in Taini, uh, let us first uh, get ourselves clear uh, with what the project is all about. So uh, this uh, India-based neutrino observatory is going to uh, be established uh, to study the atmosphere atmospheric neutrinos without the interference of cosmic radiation. And once this center is set up, it, it could be as famous as the CERN super collider in uh, Geneva. Uh, and uh, this is going to be a collaborative effort between, uh, I mean collaborative effort among uh, various uh, premier science institutes uh, of the country uh, led by Tata Institute of Fundamental Research. And this is going to be set up uh, in Uttamapalayam Taluk near Bodhi Hills uh, in a depth of uh, around 1.5 three kilometers from the surface of the earth. So now with this uh, center obtaining clearance from the ministry, people in and around Taini have been raising their voices in protest of setting up this uh, center. Uh, before we join the outrage, uh, let us see the benefits and shortcomings of this project. So uh, when we talk about benefits, uh, the primary benefit that uh, this center is going to uh, provide the people of Thaini is, is of employment. Uh, setting up of this project uh, involves construction, planning and uh, labor. Uh, this also is going to generate employment opportunities. and. Uh, Higher, there is a higher chance of uh, better scientific discoveries once a center of excellence is set up and um, any setting up of a specialized center uh, will attract uh, scientists of great repute from all over the country and also from the world. So similar to Baba Atomic Research Center in Bombay, there is going to there will be a township uh, near uh, the center which again will generate a lot of employment opportunities. And moreover, once you have a center of excellence uh, in a place, it is going to attract a lot of foreign visitors and delegates. Uh, they are going to conduct a lot of uh, conferences and stuff. And uh, this will in fact uh, push the tourism industry in that region uh, which is already known to a lot of localites but you know it is going to generate a lot of revenue and uh, when we talk about uh, shortcomings uh, there is uh, one clause in this uh, clearance uh, given by the ministry that uh, the center should not use more than 340 kiloliters of water uh, for its uh, consumption. Now, uh, this 340 lit kiloliters of water uh, is anyway going to be taken from the Mullaperia Dam and we all know what our relationship with Kerala is in regarding to this dam. And many people fear that the construction of a center of such big scale and in uh, you know 1.3 kilometers under the surface of the earth uh, might render this region very unstable because there is a hill there is a very fragile dam nearby and so people fear for their lives and many activists also fear that it might disturb the ecological balance in this region because it is a very ecologically uh, sensitive region uh, so all these things have been uh, bothering activists for a long time right now and this project which was uh, to be uh, completed in 2015 is still underway in 2018. So that is uh, how much people have been lobbying against this project for the fear of all these things uh, surrounding it. So more clearances are uh, to be obtained from other departments as well and uh, we'll have to wait and watch uh, to see what this really uh, is going to, what, what uh, this project is uh, going to result in. Um, and uh, more importantly, now with the sterilite protest gathering steam uh, in Tamil Nadu uh, uh, and with a lot of precedents like Jallikattu protests, uh, people I think uh, are ready to fight for their rights. So let's see, uh, let's wait and watch uh, what really happens. Thank you till I meet you next time. This is Mega signing off. Take care and bye.